Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Science is Confusing. Today, we dive into some very interesting but lesser known bits about forensic ballistics. Forensic ballistics is the science of the effects and behavior of projectiles and explosive devices. So, what this means is that if you are a ballistic expert, by examining all the different kinds of evidence, you could deduce not only the type of firearm, but the exact model and even its characteristics. Neat, right? Now, this sounds cool. Being a forensic investigator does sound cool. But how do you do that exactly? And why do you need to do all of that after all? Let's find out, shall we? First off, anyone who fires a gun has gunshot residue on their hands. Ooh, busted. Also another fun fact. Bullets have identification marks due to the firing pin. And that can be traced back to you. And so you definitely get busted. In fact, forensic scientists can even determine which hand you fired from. So be very careful the next time. Or, you know, maybe don't use a gun to settle your scores. Now, to understand the pillars of modern ballistic forensic science, one has to head back in time. The year is 1835. Guns and barrels are yet to be mass manufactured. Consequently, every bullet bears an exclusive impression unique to a specific firearm. This served as a foundation of what we today know as forensic fingerprinting. Fast forward to 1860. The case of Regina versus Richardson sees the unique application of firearm identification in the form of newspaper wedding. As time progresses and the mass manufacturing of guns start, firearm identification becomes increasingly difficult. In fact, even now, despite microscopes being used, it's quite difficult to tell two bullets apart. Now, we consider the anatomy and the working of a gun. Just point at your target, pull the trigger, and boom, you're done, right? Well, it's not that simple. First, you will have to disable the safety of the gun. The safety is put there so that amateurs don't hurt themselves while holding the gun or while the gun is in their holster. After disabling the safety, you cock the gun and pull the trigger. This activates the spring mechanism inside, which hammers the metal firing pin into the back of the cartridge, igniting the explosive charge inside the primer. The primer then ignites the propellant, which causes the bullet to rush out of the barrel. And now you are done. Getting back to ballistics, it has three subcategories. Internal ballistics deals with everything from the chamber to the end of the barrel. External ballistics is the study of projectiles like a bullet or a missile in flight. Lastly, terminal ballistics deals with the duties of projectile once it reaches the end of its journey. It ensures optimization of energy transferred from the projectile to the target. Hold your horses, this gets even more interesting. There are about 7.6 billion people on this planet. So even if we identify which firearm was used, how do we identify the shooter? Towards fingerprint analysis. Liquid superglue or cyanocrylate, when heated to its gaseous states, emits fumes that marks the fingerprints on the gun in white. That's precisely why forensic investigators always wear gloves while handling evidence. Another way to trace a bullet is by bullet identification. A general misconception about bullets is that people assume the cartridge is the whole bullet. The fact is, a cartridge consists of a case, primer, powder, and the projectile, which is the actual bullet. Now, let's look at some types of bullets. First, we have the assault rifle cartridges, which are worldwide use standard 5.56mm or 7.62mm. Then, we have cylindrical shotgun cells. Handgun and SMG cartridges, as their name suggests, are most commonly used in handguns and SMGs. And lastly, we have rifle cartridges. These are the deadliest and are used for long-range combat. Speaking of its characteristics, a bullet's motion can be linear as well as circular around the axis. Here are various factors like shooting distance, angle, and engravings then come into play. To conclude, ballistics is a field of mechanics concerning itself with the science of propulsion, mechanics of launching, and the flight and behavior of the impact of projectiles. If criminology interests you and you appreciate or have a knack for physics or firearms, forensics might just be for you. Thank you guys for watching this video. Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Shoot it for all I care. 
ensure that it gets clicked. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends and help dismantle the confusion around science. Take care and see you in the next video.